Welcome back to Franbo. We've just gotten another part of what we need to put on the pentagram. The fish. And I think we actually might have the last part of what we need to put on it too. This one, I'm cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. I just realized that I think that's talking about the matches that I still have in my inventory. So let's go see if that's it. We might have everything we need to become human. So let's go ahead and see which one's which. The one with no dots is the match. There we go. There you go, little tiny match. I hope this is right. Me too. There goes the dead fish. Hmm, poor fish. Ooh, we just lit up. <gasps> I think we did it. I smell victory! I smell delicious victory! Congratulations! Thank you, sir. I'm ready. Let's bring the stones back. <laughs> yes! We'll start with the fire. Kotrim has awakened. Kotrim is alive. Oh, wait! Does that mean now I get to talk to the mountain? On the top of the mountain, he will be waiting for you. Yes, we get to talk to the mountain! Let's see if maybe when it does talk, if it does sound like an earthquake. He has my lovely wizard hat. Bring it to me. Uh, your hat? <laughs> yes, the stones are hiding in my wizard tools. That's why I can't remember a thing! <laughs> but now I'm remembering. Go to the top of the mountain and find Kotrim. And come back when you have the hat. Then we can do the other things. All right, sir. I'll bring your hat. Oh my god, this wizard is totally crazy. <laughs> it's wiggling. Ah, who dares to wake me up? Who? Oh my goodness, you're alive. I'm sorry to bother you, sir. I'm Fran. Fran? I see. I don't know what that means. Well, I don't really know what it means. It's just my name. Oh, alright. Mine is Kotrim. Do you want to know why? Sure, tell me. Kotrim means born in heaven. I used to be a star. And because I was born in space. It's very logical. Oh, wow. I've never met a star in person. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Fran. So, what brings you here? Hmm. Let's not mention the wizard straight off. I have a feeling they don't have a very good relationship, the wizard and the mountain. I need the hat, sir. The hat above your head. Hmm. I can't do that. I'm divorced. Uh, what? <laughs> what do you mean, divorced? I just need the hat, sir. It's very important. I can't. If I give you the hat, the entire land will suffer. You'll have to find another way to get home. The king told me that there's no other way. Please, help me. I told you, I can't. My wife left me. She was the one covering my top. If I take off the hat, my magma can erupt and kill everyone, including you. Oh, wait. <laughs> the hat is keeping in the magma? Oh, God. I don't want that. What happened with your wife? She... She decided that it was time for her to start her own island. Oh, wait a minute! The tiny island that I saw on the boat! Is that her? So, she broke up with me. I didn't get the chance to ask her why. I miss her so much. <laughs> 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 
so his <laughs> so his wife was the bit of rock on top of his head and I guess when he erupted it shot off and formed its own island and that's why they never spoke and never you never got a chance to ask her why she left because he just shot off and <laughs> hit the water and became an island oh my god that's so that's so cool I mean not good for the mountain because he's lonely but <laughs> that's so awesome oh so now she is her own island hmm do you know where she is I think she's on the water Otherwise, I would very strongly feel her presence. But I don't... Oh, my love. My beloved wife. I'll go and see if I can find her, alright? Then you give me the hat. Only if she comes back. Otherwise, you know what can happen. Can't I put something else on top of your head, sir? Like a rock or something instead? No. I like this hat. Uh, all right, I'll be right back. All right, let's go see if we can get the island. Oh, Jesus. I know you are all alone. Let me be your mommy. Let me feed you. Come to my side. And you will have many new friends to play with. I don't want you as my mommy. You look very scary and I don't like you. Fran, who are you talking to? Huh? The woman standing... It's nothing, kitty. Okay, so Mr. Midnight can't see them. I was wondering about that. Oh. That's weird. Before, every time I switched to this season, they weren't fishing anymore, and I thought that's because I took their fishing pole. But I did use the fishing pole, so maybe I put it back? Hmm, I don't know. You seem to have sprouted ahead. Hello? Miss? Wake up. I have a message for you. Oh, hello. A messenger? What a good day. Yes, miss. I'm the messenger of love. Love? Oh, but you are not pink. Oh, should I be pink? I used to have human skin, though. It's almost pink. Hmm. <laughs> and does the messenger of love have something to share? Uh, yes, of course. I'm here in the name of love to bring you back to your husband. No, he made me very sad. Nobody has the right to make me sad. Well, maybe he didn't mean to harm you. What did he do? He was so hot, and I fell in love with that. <laughs> Too damn hot to resist because <laughs> of all the magma. <laughs> There's so many, like, euphemisms here. <laughs> But lately, he was cold and boring, so I felt left aside. I cried so many times. He used to grow a beautiful red flower, just for me, to show his love for me. But this year, nothing came up. And you know what? I am the one protecting him all the time, so I want some credit for that. That's all. Hmm. It just so happens I already have the flower. I was wondering what to do with it. But, miss, if I find that flower for you, would you come back? I guess. But I have no hope. Besides, I'm the ruler of my own island now. Uh, I'll go see if I'll go and see if I can find the red flower. Do you know where it grows? Always at the bottom. It's very different from all other flowers. The bottom of what, miss? My husband's bottom, of course. Bring it to me, and I shall return to him. You know, I'm really curious how exactly she's going to return to him. How is she going to move? I'd really like to know. Miss, I found it! Look, look! The red flower! 
Oh, thank you so much. It looks so beautiful. You are indeed a great messenger of love. Thank you, miss. We should go back to your husband right away. He really misses you. I'll see you there in winter time. Oh my god. She does have legs. <laughs> That's so cool. There you are. A match made in heaven. <laughs> it's very nice to see you two together. Now, I would like to have the hat, please. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Come on, my darling. Climb onto the top. <laughs> and here's the hat. Thank you again. Wow, thank you, sir. I have to go and give the hat to the great wizard now. Bye. Can I talk to her? This mountaintop is very high, because it's the top. Indeed. No, I guess she's just sleeping or something. Well, goodbye. Here's your hat, sir. Oh, my hat. I feel the knowledge flowing through my body. I feel happy. That's great, sir. What's next? The gift from the soil. The fruit. The creation of selective random elements. So we can eat. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it's incredible. Yes, the fruit is talking to me now. It says that the book, my book of knowledge, it's in the library. But beware, the book may be hiding, so you have to be persistent and patient. Good, sir. I'll go to the library then. Wait, there's a password you'll need to get inside. Let me think. Think. There must be something about how we learn, or... Hmm... Ah! I remember! The password is... Your basic senses are easily manipulated. Shut them down before learning. <laughs> what? Oh, I'll try to remember that. What does it mean? It means that many times we let our understanding be manipulated. We should always try to use our common sense. Nobody should ever tell you what to think or believe. Be hungry for knowledge, and you'll find yourself in constant evolution. That will make you free to cherish every second of your life. Oh, I think it's very fun to think and learn, and being curious helps a lot. I'll be going to the library now to find your book. So we still haven't gotten any of the stones, right? So I can't get turned back into a human? I don't think I can do that yet. Let's see, he's probably gonna say no. Um, now go to the center of the Star of a Thirst... Oh, wait, it, it looks like we actually can be turned into a human? Oh, I guess so. And think about your body, your head, your leg, and the other leg. And your arm. Both of them. Now, concentrate. Randomly selected elements. Find your path to your true essence. Become Fran, the human. Now! Oh god! Are you alright? Uh, what happened? Is it done? 
Wow. Thank you so much, sir. You really are a great wizard. Yes, that's my name. Great wizard. Because of the greatness. <laughs> well, thank you again, sir. This really is grand. See you soon. My darling Fran, you are human again. Welcome back. Thank you, Kitty. This feels great. I don't know what I turned into for a second there, but at least she made it back to her final form. <laughs> it was kind of like the fly all up in here for a second. Ooh. Okay, to the library. Hey, there's a snowman. Hello, Mr. Snowman. Are you having fun? It's a little cold. You want to go inside? Maybe he can't hear me because he has no ears. Hmm. I don't have anything to put in his ears or eyes or anything. No. Nope. Uh. Do you remember, Fran? You are a murderer. You are a nutty little girl. Nutty girls must be punished. Do as I say. Do as I do, Fran. Jump. <laughs> I didn't want to kill them. I didn't want to. Oh, my dear. Don't listen to those evil things. You're strong. Let them out of your head, my dear. Am I crazy, Kitty? Tell me. No, my dear. You just have to be strong. Don't let them play with your head. Oh, my Kitty. I feel completely broken. My chest hurts. Oh, my dear. I'm here for you. Don't cry. I love you so much. I love you too, my dear. We should keep on going now. Uh, let's go to the library. Hmm. Did she actually kill her parents? Is that why she was in a place with such high security? That would make some sense, but on the other hand, given how tormented her mind is, it could easily just be her tormented mind trying to to hurt her. Trying to convince herself that she's a terrible person, that she did something wrong, that she did something that she didn't actually do. It's very possible, too. I don't think this place is open during the winter, right? Stop right there. Do you have the password? Yes, I do. Yes. Uh, Alright. What's the password? Let me remember the words. It was something like... Your eyes and ears are limited sensors. Shut them down before learning. Mm, good. And why is that? Because only then can we really... See? It's like the city. It was invisible to me before. Knowledge is everywhere, even in darkness and silence. You can come inside. Have fun. Thank you. Aww. <laughs> I love these creatures. They just look so cool. Okay, so the Great Wizard said the book is hidden, and I'm going to have to be persistent and patient to find it. I sense a puzzle. This looks like a puzzle right here. But uh, let's talk to everybody first, I guess. I'm just going to take a look around. Oh. Oh god. Let's not look at that. That's puzzle. I see so many books. I don't think the Great Wizard's book is on the shelves. Hello, sir. What are you doing? Ah, I'm looking for my special book. 
Oh, sorry to ask, but why are you standing on the ladder? You have wings. Ah, because the ladder was made to be used, of course. But what, uh, but what if I need to use it? Then you should wait your turn. F fair, fair enough. But what if it's an emergency and I can't wait that much? Then you should have arrived earlier than me. Sorry, but I have to keep looking. Okay, so I think I need the ladder. I need to find their special book if I want the ladder, it seems like. But let's not think too far ahead. Hello. Oh, hello. Why aren't you reading? Oh, because I need to find a special book first. Ah, uh, special books are very nice. This one I'm reading is also very special. Oh, that's great. Well, I'll have to keep searching for my special book then. Hello, what are you reading? A book with many letters. Sometimes I think some letters look very scary. Maybe you should read something with many pictures instead. Oh, yes. Some other day, dear. Now, if you don't mind. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Pushing won't work, dear. Try to unlock it instead. Uh, unlock, miss? The one with the buttons right next to you. You know, the it word lock. It word? That sounds familiar. Of course it sounds familiar. It's it word we're talking about. He's quite a creature. Can you believe that he made that lock just for fun? <laughs> for fun? Well, I'm gonna try to open the lock then. You go ahead. Ask me if you need anything. Oh, whoops. Whoa, what did I just click on? Oh, white rabbit, so eat. Wait, what did I click on? That's what I, this is what I meant to click on. Oh, I can actually read the book that they're reading. Oh, cool. <laughs> a bunch of gigantic rabbits having a single carrot for dinner, it looks like. I really don't think that'd be enough food. White rabbits. They'll eat dinner. It looks like they're having fun. I hope they are. Hmm. Two rabbits, then three rabbits, and then five. Two, and then three, and then five. Oh. Is that a password combination? Two, three, five? Mayhaps, mayhaps. Anyway, what is this thing? Oh. Are these the symbols that are in my translation book? Where is the translation? Do, do, do. There it is. Let's see. I think it is. Like this one, for example. Kind of like an hourglass with a line next to it. Let's see if I can find that. Just confirm that it is in the book. Do, do, do. Um, hmm. I don't see it. Maybe it's not. I'm not entirely sure now. Oh, they correspond to numbers. Oh, this is grand. It must be a thirst to numbers. Yes. One, two, and three, and four, and so on. Okay. Okay. I think I get it. And one of the symbols was like this symbol plus a line next to it, like this one plus this one. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is twenty. So if it's this symbol plus that symbol, then it's gotta be twenty-one. These two symbols together, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah, so this one right here must be twenty-one. Hmm. What is that number? It's gotta be twenty-one, and that's of course one. There are two ones, so that's two. That's twenty-one. 
Okay, uh, this is kind of a long combination, though. It's an eight-number combination. Hmm. But there's only so many numbers I can actually put into place, because there's only so many blocks to use. Interesting. I've already got a couple numbers. Two, three, five. But that's not anywhere near enough, right? Let's talk to you. You said you'd help, right? Hello. Sorry to bother you. Yes, dear? What's wrong? I need help with the lock. I don't really understand the meaning of it. Well, it's equally easy as adding one and one together. Oh, I see. Uh, thank you. I'll try again. Adding one and one together. Well, obviously one plus one equals two. Um, maybe it's not an eight number lock, but rather you need a specific number and you need to add up... Like, all the numbers in there must equal a number. Like, maybe you add all of them up to equal a number, but then what is the number? Miss, can you open the lock for me? I can't do it. I'm sorry, dear. We know what the king told you. You have to do it all by yourself. It's quite simple, dear. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing something before I start really trying to crack it. Hmm. See anything new for you? Nope, still looking for a special book. Would you like this? Oh no, I can't give that to anybody. If I use it, it just reads it. Hmm. Anything more to say to you? Can you tell me the right combination for the lock? No, miss, I can't. I haven't learned that at school yet. Oh, and what is the special book you're reading about? It's about two bunnies making dinner, and then three of their friends came over. So, then there were five bunnies eating dinner. They eat carrots, you see? Yeah. What a beautiful book. Yes, now, I'd like to keep reading, please. Oh, of course. That's obviously part of the combination. Two, three, and then five. And this tells me what all the numbers mean. I'm just not sure exactly what's supposed to go in here, though. Hmm. Do I just put two, three, and then five? But some of these numbers seem awfully large. Like this one. I mean, that symbol alone on the left is 20. They seem too large for such small numbers. So I get the number system, but I don't understand what the combination is supposed to be. Hmm. Let's try different seasons, see if anything changes in here. Oh, well now I can use the ladder. This book's probably the same, right? Yep. I won't climb again. I could break my neck if I fall. Oh. Hmm. I'm not sure what the point of that was. Maybe I'm only supposed to do that after I've found the book? Like, maybe this tells me where the book is? But I thought she said it doesn't look like the book is even on the bookcase. I don't think the Great Wizard's book is on the shelves. Yeah, so if it's not on the shelves, then... What's the point of moving this? Uh, Kitty, do you want to climb it for some reason? Have you seen Kitty? There are many books in here. Indeed, my darling. I see them all around. I guess that's a no. Gotta open the lock before I can do the lever. Yeah, I feel like I'm still missing something, though. I get the number system... I get the number system. And I get that this is connected to the password, or may even be the entire password in and of itself. Two, three, and then five. Or six, if you count the carrot. 
but uh, something just smells off about this. I feel like I'm still missing something, but I'm going to try to crack this. So I'm going to look at some things and I'll be right back. Ah, okay, so I finally got it. This puzzle is really, really cool. It's math. It's all math. Math is awesome. I'm not very good at it, but math is pretty cool. Okay, so there's two things that tip me off to what the solution is supposed to be. One is that I realized that you can move these numbers around and put them into place, but you can't move these. These are stuck in place. So that gives you a lot of information, because it means you have to start with this, and somehow you have to end up with this at the end. And obviously the numbers in between must be something, you know, uh, something connected to these numbers. At the beginning and at the end. And the other hint is that when looking at the book, I got to thinking. So we've got numbers already in there that start at 1 and they end at 21. And there's stuff here about, obviously, bunnies getting larger. Two bunnies, three bunnies, five bunnies. And then I realized, wait a minute, isn't there something about... something to do with math and bunnies breeding in, like, uh, a sequence of numbers? That triggered something in my brain. I remember something about rabbits breeding in numbers and, like, a sequence of ever-growing uh, population because of rabbits breeding. And that's what got me to thinking. That's what got me to thinking, so at first, some pretty complicated stuff. I was trying to make a function that would represent how the bunnies were breeding and how their numbers were increasing to fill out everything in between the 1 and the 21, or the 2, the two ones and the 21. And uh, that was overcomplicating it. It turns out, it's simply the Fibonacci sequence. Which, if you don't know, the Fibonacci sequence is simply a... Uh, it's simply a sequence, as the name implies, as the name says, a sequence of numbers that is derived by adding the two previous numbers together to get the next. So for example, these two previous numbers here, you add 1 and 1 together, and you get 2. You add 1 and 2 together, and you get 3. You add 2 and 3 together, and you get 5. And so on and so on. And it just so happens, if you uh, put all the Fibonacci numbers in sequence, you have 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. Which just so happens to fill this out perfectly. So it's really, really cool. I like this puzzle. If I hadn't heard of the Fibonacci sequence or knew something about rabbits and, you know, some sort of math-related concept related to this, this would probably be really frustrating, but because I did make that connection and thought about it, it's really satisfying. It's really cool. Okay, so I've written down the symbols that represent all the numbers that I need to put in here. So for 2, we have this. 1 plus a dot equals 2. Um. Wait, there's something wrong with my sequence. There's something... 2, 5, 8, 13... 5, 8, 13... Oh yeah, I actually miswrote my sequence here for some reason. Uh, anyway, whatever, no big deal. So, 1 and 2 is 3, which would be a line with two dots to equal 3. The next one is 5, which is E. There we go. Next one is 8, which is this one. It's the E, but it's got a line, and then goes up and down a little bit, and then it's got two dots. Then the next one is 13, which is this one. I did it! Oh, wow! I'm so great! I have to turn the lever now. Oh wait, no, I want to look at the sequence again. Oh, I guess I can't. I just wanted to explain that 13 is this one, which is 10, plus the symbol 4, 3, added together. So these two. Yeah, that puzzle's really, really cool. I like it. Did that, uh, did, did that do something? That's not the thing that played on that that little thing right back at the very beginning of the game, is it? The one that was just sitting on the floor next to the hospital bed? Oh. That must be the wizard's book. Oh, now I need to get it with a ladder. I can't reach it. How typical. But there's always something to climb on. Indeed. Ooh. It's 
Excuse me, sir. I, I need the book. <laughs> yes. Hmm. It shows science. Oh, this looks interesting. I can't read the text, though. Hmm. Conjoined. Oh my god, that looks nasty. A skeleton having a baby? A skull with a spine and that's it? Ugh. Is that about reversing death and turning you into a baby? What is happening there? Hmm. There's the thing I've been seeing. The monster. It seems people love him. That's the skeleton with the top hat. Can I take its hat? It's kind of cute. So that means the thirsty creatures know about him. Maybe he is a good creature. Next time I'll say hello. Sir, here's your book. It was inside the musical box. I saw the doll. <laughs> the Itward Lock. That sounds like fun. Thank you for the book. This certainly makes me remember many things. Many, many things. And now what? There are two things left on the star. Yes, fish in the water. Fish, fish swimming free. Go back, little fish. Go back home. Wow, sir, you woke up the fish. Yes, because I remembered how to do it. Isn't it beautiful? That's magical, sir. Can you do that with other beings? Like humans? Of course, but only if the circumstances are positive. But circumstances are often not positive. I see, sir. Hmm. So, we need to find the missing stones, yes? The fish told me that my shoes are on the feet of the amazing dancer. Do you know where this dancer could be? I have no idea. Oh, it's gotta be inside of the club, right? Or the bar, or whatever that place is? I, I think I know. I'll go and see. Yeah, so I think I need to get inside of there now. Alright, well, I think I'll tackle that in the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.